Well, Neil, here we are, the eve of your first uh, day in the dugout for Notts County. How does it feel? Uh, excited. Um, you know, came, set, spoke to Coxie coming in this morning, said, right, we go tomorrow. You know, we've had that little honeymoon period, a weekend with, with no game, and we've, we've done loads of good work, and there's no pressure. But from now on until whatever it is, May the first week of May, um, pressure's on. And uh, got to put a smile on our face and, and have a go at it. Had a couple of training sessions under your belt now. How have the players responded to, to new methods, I suppose? Um, Saturday, we had a, you know, I thought it was really good Saturday. We went to the ground, we did a sort of 30 minute presentation. Now we're going to play, um, you know, tactics board with everything, and the boys sort of understood it. And then we went out and we trained it for a good hour and a half, and um, you know, I was really pleased with that. So, you know, up Friday was the first day that they were fresh enough to start training. So we just had a, 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 an, an, an intense session without tactically going into stuff, but Saturday certainly we hit them hard and I was really pleased with it. Sunderland, uh, long trek in the midweek, but at least you've got a, a nice stadium, fantastic pitch that's going to greet you there. Yeah, and a good team. Uh, I've played against them already this season with Wimbledon, so I know, I know what awaits despite the fact that there might be some changes. Um, the managers very, very good. They've only lost once, I think, all season, so they're, they're, they're in that mode that we want to try and get ourselves in, knowing how to win games of football. So we're under no illusions that this week's going to be tough. Two away games against two informed teams. Both of them only lost once all season, so you know that's a habit that's, um, that they've managed to get into. So uh, we've got to try and disrupt that. So, um, But you know, the main thing is, certainly from tomorrow night's game, is getting to see a little bit about one or two who can play in certain systems, who can play the certain way that we might want to, and, um, and trying to learn a little bit about us and take some positives. Obviously, the, you'll be forming opinions on players through every session, through every match for the next few weeks. Massive game on Saturday that any player would want to be involved with, the derby game. How much of an opportunity is tomorrow night for many of those players to make sure they're on the starting line of the well, game? Well, it will be. I mean, there's, there's one or two that we've, we've got little niggles here or there that we might sort of freshen up for Saturday. At the same time, there's one or two that we will want to have a look at. And then there's others that need to show that they can play in the system that are in the team at the moment or have been the last few weeks. So everyone's going to be playing for it. But the main thing is that as a group, we're in it together. You know, I keep saying that word. When you're, in, when you're in trouble or you've had a bad time, you need to really stick together and making sure that the whole, you know, whatever it is, 22 men that, that are in and around it, everyone buys into it, helps each other, encourages each other, and uh, we lose or draw. We need to stick together because this next six months is going to be uh, it's going to be a long, tough six months. You, man you mentioned in your message to the fans that you you quite dynamic in terms of your formations and your shaping styles. So the lineup tomorrow night is it, is it fair to say that that's not necessarily what we'll always see going forward? From yeah, you? not not not. It probably will be you know something that we look at as one of our options early on because. I think the most important thing for a manager is to give clarity early on, um, not mix things around too much, make sure that the team have got some cohesion. Teams, you know, I, I hate that comment when people say to me, oh, the players didn't try. Um, sometimes, or a lot, most of the time, it's not that. It's that the, the players, uh, you know, were uncertain of the roles, the cohesion within the team made the players become a little bit individual, and, and we need to try and make sure that that doesn't happen. And, you know, it's, I can go in try and new weird and wonderful shapes, but that will only cause confusion. So we'll start with this. We'll try and get, you know, a, a base of, of one system and, and knowing our jobs, and, and then as we go along, naturally, at times you need to find a different way of winning a game. Come into a tricky situation, obviously with league position, but also with injuries. Enzo Baldwin facing along on the sidelines and I believe also Louis Alessandro has got a, a longer term issue as well. Yeah, Louis, Louis will be a little bit longer. He'll be, um, you know, we're not totally sure, but he's certainly not going to be back any time. Um, in the next week or so, um, and that's that's you know that's a blow. I, I knew it before I arrived, but that was a blow because he's um, you know he's a very good player, and he could probably be playing three or four of the positions that, that the system might dictate. So um, you know we'll, we'll wish him a speedy recovery um, as much as as much as Enzio, and uh, when we get these players back, the, the squad will be a lot healthier. Finally, obviously you're a manager with Wembley experience. You know, one step uh, forward from Wembley for tomorrow night, hopefully. But you know, it's you know, there's money to be had in the games. You know, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, the, the competition, but there's decent money there. So we'll we'll we, we need to try and learn how to win games. Um, so I'm not going to be 
resting players and bringing in the kids and you know there'll be a couple of tweaks having a look at a couple of different players but we need to start trying to bring some positivity into groups and belief into what we're going to try and do in a tough game and we need to start trying to win games and if we can bring a few quid in from winning and heading towards Wembley um, I'm sure the chairman will be happy as well. Perfect, thank you very much, appreciate that. We don't usually do